Cotton Tree Petroleum Jelly made in India, designed in the UK. We're gonna be needing this today because what we're gonna be rehousing in this enclosure, yeah, they can climb walls and I do not want them escaping. So we're gonna have a barrier just like this. I'm gonna do it the perimeter of this enclosure. So you may be wondering, why do we need petroleum jelly? Petroleum jelly. Actually, I didn't need it, but the reason why I need it is because this is going to be the lid of this enclosure. And let me just put it here. As you can see, there are gaps because this is not like aligned properly. So you see, and the stuff, whatever I'm putting in here, these guys will be able to escape. So this petroleum jelly will act as a barrier. So I went to the glass shop to make this and yep, they drilled holes for me, cut the glass to size and that will be the lid. If you guys remember, this used to be my Singapore Blues enclosure, but this is actually too big for her. So she is now in an Exoterra Nano Tall, and she should be at the back over there. After rehousing her, I was thinking, hmm, what should I put in here that's different? At first, I thought maybe a giant centipede, but then I remembered I have these guys. So yeah, why not put them in here? So if you guys remember these, these are my assassin bugs. Yep, my, I think, how many spot, two spot assassin bug, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, a quick update. There's a little baby. They've got a lot of babies since we've got them. Look at that. And really, really tiny ones as well. It's going to take a while for me to pick everyone out. Look at the back there. See the little red guy at the back there? That is a little baby. So yeah, we're going to slowly take everyone out and put them in this huge permanent big enclosure. It's like almost 10 p.m. over here and I'm just doing this right now. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Just nice, you can rest on there. So now I've got a little catch cup over here. And we will slowly catch them one by one, to transfer them into here. I think it'll be a nicer display as well because everyone is in these like tarantulas. So something different in something different. Now you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with assassin bugs because they can have a painful nip from what I've read. So yeah, it's gonna be a little pain trying to get them in here because they are stuck to the sides. So yeah, I'm gonna have to slowly but surely get them in. <laughs> there we go, that's one. So it's a two spot assassin bug. If you guys remember, I bought, oh my goodness, nope, you are not coming out just yet. So yeah, there, oh, there you go. <laughs> So I think this enclosure will be way more suitable because they breed quite quickly. So yeah, a big enclosure for them and they can climb up as well because I noticed they're quite arboreal. You see, they, they're at the side and all. So this will be perfect. I am pretty sure there are quite a few babies in this thing. So yeah, look at that. There's a lot of babies in here. Let's get this and I'll just transfer this whole thing, oops, into the enclosure, okay? So, oh my gosh, there's a lot. Don't drop. Don't drop. I swear if I drop this thing, it'll not be good. Okay, there we go. There. These guys love bark, so that is why we're going to make this enclosure super... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Why do I keep saying goosh? There's some little dubious that they did not eat, but yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's a little baby. A little baby guy. Okay. I'll just put this <laughs> at the bottom, something like, like I'll just, yeah, like that. Look at that, mother and babies, a few generations of babies. But yeah, you can see the mother, she's eating a mealworm. So this is what I feed them. I cook them in a little dish, the mealworms, and they come and eat at their leisure. But yeah, there are a lot of assassin bugs. Oh my goodness, how am I even going to do this? I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna do it regardless. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, they're panicking, they're panicking. Oh, sorry guys, but this will be your permanent enclosure and we will not disturb you anymore. Oh my gosh, one dropped. But yeah, we will not disturb you after this anymore. There we go. Okay, this little guy, nope. Oh, there's two, two escapees. Come on, here we go, one down and another one. Got two of them, there we go. So in they go. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a freshly molted baby right there. And even the babies can eat big mealworms. I don't know how, but they can. Look at that, oh my goodness. They breed super quickly. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. I don't even know if these guys fly. Do they fly? I don't know, but 
There we go. I'm just gonna get these. I never realized how many there are. So many, my gosh. I'm just going to like drop these in. Don't worry, it'll not hurt them. Cause it's, you see, they're doing fine. No worries. It's just that I'm a little bit scared because I read that assassin bugs, they have a painful sting. So I wouldn't recommend you guys using your bare hands. Man, why didn't I think of rehousing them in here in the first place? Now I'm, ugh. I'm suffering. <laughs> All right, so here's one big guy. So the reason I'm getting them in because the enclosure, if I don't put anything in, then it'll just be vacant because the two feet enclosure is kind of too big for any tarantula. So yeah, I just decided to put these guys. It's better, I guess. Hey, come on, get off. There we go. Come on, let's go. Let's go, buddy. What are you doing? Man, it's hard filming with one hand, but I mean, that's what I do, right? That's my specialty. <laughs> I'm known as the one-handed tarantula guy. There you go, little guy. Yeah. The skull is actually a nice touch because these guys are assassins, so get it? There's a skull there. Look at all the adults at the back there. Oh my gosh. Yep, they're super cool. You should see when they eat. I have not really done a good feeding video of them. I will once they have, oops, once they have like acclimated and get used to their new enclosures. So come on, let's go, let's go. Your new enclosure, buddy. Here you go, get off. <laughs> he doesn't want to get off. There you go, nice. Seriously, man, what am I even doing with my life? <laughs> But these guys are fun. I like them. I think I'm gonna start collecting more assassin buck species because they're so cool, man. They're super cool. Yeah, look at that. In on the coconut. I wanna see where I can position this skull. Maybe somewhere over here in the middle. That way we can see. But yeah, just. <laughs> where are you guys? There's one right there. They're so cute as babies. But yeah, the, the trick is to breed them you're gonna have to keep one part of the enclosure damp. You can keep them fully dry because they do come from like Africa, but like you keep them damp and they will breed for you. But if you don't want them to breed, then you can just keep them dry. You know what? I'm just gonna keep the skull at the corner just like that. Looks more naturalistic. Hey there, little birdies. Okay, there's nothing on here. So these ones I'll just toss in like that. Not sure if these guys actually burrow. Do they burrow? There's a little one right there. Don't bite me. Don't bite me, I swear. <laughs> I do not want to be bit by an assassin bug. You know what? I think I should take care of the adults first because I'm putting my hand in here. So I don't want to get bit or stung, whatever these guys do. And yeah, I'll just get all the big ones out. Then I can slowly focus on the small ones. What are you doing? There you go. Okay, let's go, buddy. There we go. All right, the adults, come here. Come here. Be cooperative. I do not want to squish you. You guys are awesome. And yeah, come on. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Good job. I don't know how to sex them. I just keep them in here together and let them just breed. Not sure how to sex them though. The seller told me that it takes them to be an adult for you to be able to successfully sex them. Otherwise, it's quite difficult. So yeah. Hey, come on, buddy. And yeah, there we go. Finally. My gosh. Took this one pretty long. There you go. Okay, I think I'm done with the fully grown adults. This, I think this one might be an adult in the next mold. Not too sure. Okay, let me just try to move, move, move. There you go. <laughs> just pray that they don't bite me. Oh my gosh. Because if they do, they'll not be fun, right? I mean, maybe it'll be fun for you guys, but not for me. Okay, go. Move, move. <laughs> kind of scared. Ah. I can't move this one. Gonna use my metal chopstick to like push him. There you go. Move there. Move along. There we go. So now it'll be easier for me to... Where did you... There you go. Where am I going to... Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now walk onto the cup and we'll be happy people together. So when they're juveniles, they do not have the spot. When they're adults only, 
they'll have the spot on there look at their eyes oh my gosh that's scary right so we are pretty much done with the adults these i'm not sure yeah these things over here you see the small little egg sac yeah those are their egg sac hello little ones <laughs> oh, they're curious they're very very curious animals these mealworms i'll just dump them in so they can eat at their leisure okay so i don't think you guys would like to see me getting all the babies in Whoop, it's crawling in my hand because it's a lot and it's going to take a very very long time and this video is going to like never end so I'll get these babies, as many of them in, and then I'll resume the video, okay? You see on these rocks, yep, these stones, those are their egg sac. So I think those, each of them, comes into one little baby, I think. Okay, so I think I've got everyone out, but I will still not clean out these enclosure because they will still probably be one or two left. So yeah, you can see mealworms, they burrow in the ground, but yeah, it doesn't harm them because I mean, they eat bugs. So I'm pretty sure if the mealworms become beetles, they'll eat the beetle as well. So I'm not too worried about that. These guys have got quite the venomous sting. I think I've got pretty much everyone out, but like I said, I will leave this enclosure over here and I'll come back tomorrow because if there are any in here left, most likely they'll be climbing the walls tomorrow. But I think this enclosure is way, way more suitable for them, more clutter, more place for them to run around and climb. And yeah, I think it'll be good. The permanent enclosure because this enclosure is too big for a tarantula anyway, so this will be perfect for them. And this, I can house another tarantula in the future. And I can still use back this substrate. No issues whatsoever. So yeah guys, that'll be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's put this lid on top of the enclosure and we can call it a day. So yeah guys, take care, stay safe, and as always, have an awesome one. Peace. Ha! I knew it. I told you guys. Good thing that I left this enclosure and never scrapped it out. You see, there's a little guy left over there that we missed yesterday. Come on, little guy. Let's not be stubborn now. We're gonna give you a new enclosure. You, little hiding little... D Wait, what? I thought the, the mealworm got him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, yo, wait, there's two. One here and another one here. Look at that. I got him. There he is. <laughs> All right, guys, I got both of them. Yeah, but I'm still leaving this enclosure over here because maybe later or tomorrow, there'll still be more. Look at that little guy up there. Well, big guy. Just chilling on top of the the highest part of the wood. I'll just drop these two guys in and we'll be good to go. There we go. They're, they're down there, there's one. Yep, and the other one over there.